TV fans. Scar and Error, or as you guys will know me as. Viking Rander. Know why? Viking. Get it? Horns. I'm just that cool. I'm just that cool. So, I'm obviously the coach of the Gaffenberg Garchomp, and we are facing off against a man named Phoenix San Flores. Cool name, bro. For Rissy Pow. More like Rissy Who. Yeah, that's right. And his team is as follows. Prep myself, yo. Can't really remember your team. Because my team naturally beats you anyway. So my his team is as follows. Megalodius, Hiroshi, Fable, Sukyu, um you got Nidoqueen, Snorlax, Houndoom, Lucario, and of course, Tornadus. Nice team, bro. Nice team. So, obviously with this team in mind, he actually, no, he wanted to give him a fair challenge here, obviously. And he actually bends his Polyrath for, of course, Lucario. What that pretty much means is that my Volcano is not only threatening to him, it's probably the only man he can defeat. Thanks. Good job, buddy. And also, thank you, Frito, for making my first challenge this easy. I own it to you, buddy. Anyway, my team is as follows. We're gonna start off with, of course, Mega Sceptile. Rash nature this time, no why? Because I don't need the speed, I just need extra power. Therefore, we have the following move of... Right to this reader lock. 222. Hmm, of course, special attack. Gonna beat him to bloody pulp. Then we have as follows, 120 speed, that's all I need to beat Tornadus. And then the rest on HP 128. Sounds fair? It is fair. We have Dragon Pulse, which are able to actually co Oko uh, his Zelotios. I don't doubt really, feeling a bit scared about that. Would be very, very unfortunate for him to see, say to him. And of course, we have Leaf Storm. If he uses Clefable with Unaware, I can spam Leaf Storm. That's about it. I was considering Grass Knot. But Grass Knot does not really hurt the mods I need to hurt the most, which are Clefable. Outside of that, Grass Knot would have been real nice with Suku. But at the same time, I would be pushed to the edge here. So, I'm not gonna hold that up. Then we have, of course, Earthquake, therefore Rash. Earthquake to make sure we push both Lucario and Hiroshi to an area of a KO. Snorlax is going to be an issue with this set, definitely, since he's going to be most likely Assault Vested. I'm not having Focus Blast in my last move, I have a Protect, because I insist on this. He's going to use Scarper to defeat my stepped up. Lucario and Hiroshi is going to be Scarper. Protect is a better choice to maintain myself against him. And of course, I should say, Leaves from Oko Suku. So if he goes for Crotune, I don't care. One bit. I'm scared of you, Riss. You got this under control, man. Forcing me to do this. You're forcing me to be extremely mean to you. Another Viking Vonder. Which means I don't care about you one bit. Anyway, next one. Feeling super serious with this. Just so you know. Because my Viking can't read. Next one is actually Modest Guard of War. Nothing big to it. Moonblast, Psyshock. Uh, no, actually, Psychic. <laughs> How about that? Uh, no, Psyshock, actually. <laughs> and Shadow Ball for Hiroshi, mainly. And of course, Seal Witch to support the other mods if it comes to that. It is Scarf, like I said, it's Modest. Enough speed to speed Tornadus if he is going for a timid set. Now, Tornadus can always beat Tailwind, I know that. But at least I can beat him one on one. Then we got that followed up by another. Scarfer. Volcanion. What? Yes. Max speed Volcanion. Modest. Wit. Steam eruption. Big shock there, right? And then we follow that up by, of course, Heat Wave, because that's the only move I need to actually hit with. I don't need Fire Blast. Fire Blast is inaccurate. Heat Wave is also that, but Heat Wave is enough to create KO his Hiroshi. Playing for a Sally is not. It is a risk in a row. Don't do that. And of course, we have the Lack of Sludge Bomb for the rest. His neutral name ever means his team outside of Hiroshi, which, like I said, Heat Wave. Boom. And of course, last move is Scald, because we still have a Suku with pressure on mine. Steam Eruption only has 8 PP, so I need something to follow that up. Scald was easily the best choice of doing so. Plus, you know, burn. Scald is Scald, so gotta burn with Steam Eruption, gonna burn with Scald. I don't care. Everything will burn. 
And also that Volcano can come in a lot of switches. And being able to outspeed everything on the team outside of a Scar Hirashi is something I'm going with. I was debating going for a Timid Set, but I lose too much power by doing so. Hirashi is not a threat to Volcanion, even with Thunder Punch. That's right. I don't care about that Hirashi blood death. That's right. That was the first three miles. And of course, we got the next one being a Scarfer again. <gasps> three Scarfers in one game? Yes. Next one is, of course, Scarfed Thunderous. And I was debating having the agility with, say, Yasha Berry, but we are facing Clefable that are unaware. And in the end, it might just be too, too debatable to actually pull off nicely, at least. So having that in mind, I have decided to bring Scarf Thunder's Timid to be able to actually have speed his Scarf Hiroshi if he decides to bring it, which I said, very likely will do. And it has Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Dark Pulse, and actually Focus Blast. Was considering Superpower. I've been running issues with Snorlax before, but Focus Blast is just that much harder. And I don't have to go for any kind of nature that makes me vulnerable for, well, priority moves from his Lucario. Because that would suck. And of course, Houndu with, of course, the likes of uh, Sucker Punch. Yay, just yay, really. So, having that in mind, going for Focus Blast. Which is a 50 percent hit on his Snorlax if it is assaulted, so huh, it's okay, I can work with that. Then we got our two last month, and these were the ones that were... I was juggling a lot because we're facing a team with no defogger and I do decide to not bring any hazard this match. You might be thinking that, you know, that's that's crazy. And you'd be right. So what? I guess. I don't care. Do you care? I don't. So anyway. Next follow-up mount is Barbarical. Jolly! See what you made me do, Riz? You made my Barbarical jolly! It's a fucking pirate! Shame on you. I was forced to go for Jolly instead of Adamant because Jolly, after Shell Smash, is enough to outspeed a Scarf Jirashi. Outside of that, we have, of course, Poison Jam to be able to 2 hit Kyoko Fable if it is unaware. Big deal. Night Slash to pretty much Oko his whole team and Low Kick because the most powerful uh, fighting move this guy gets for the, for the occasion. It is just as powerful as Superpower, or actually a bit weaker when it comes to Suju, but against Snorlax, it actually O-Coats it, and I can just shut up a Shell Smash against the Snorlax. Uh, without an issue, I can't set up a Shell Smash against his Suju. No, not preferably, but I can't live it. I have white to it, I am defensive enough to pull that off. The only mom being able to actually Oko Barbaric in this situation are the likes of, uh, what would you call him? Lucario, the vacuum wave. That's probably the only mom. Or, you know, it's not speaking naturally, which would be extremely unfortunate. But outside of that, I'm not worried one bit. Barbarical is the man to go. Jeff is here to stay. And he's gonna have an easy sweep if I pull that off. But yeah, Jeff is easily the best that I could go with. Uh, naturally, I'm speeding. I know the issue I'm bringing here is that Clefable is active and it has priority move with the likes of Houndoom. But it just dents the team. It just dents the team so hard. So I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Follow that up with, of course, Bandit Scissor. Oh, big, big shot, right? Bandit Scissor, really good this matchup. Um, priorities uh, Bandit Bullet Punch. Actually, two it kills most of his team outside of Houndoom. And uh, it actually kills it to Fable. And we follow that up with, of course, Superpower to actually be able to uh, KO his Snorlax. He can actually switch in on the Snorlax, which is just kind of awesome. And outside of that, we have Knockoff for any mods that want to come in on it. And of course, U-turn. We have Volt Switch, we have U-turn, we need that. I know we don't have a hazard removal, but at the same time, his only main of hazard removals are Urochi and Needle Queen. Most likely they are gonna be in his lead, which also means that they are gonna face up against Volcano, which will be my lead. And most likely Volcano will kill them both. Because Volcano ain't giving a shit about them. If I can get away hazards before they even come, I am the one winning this game. I am not worried one bit. Things I've seen him bring in his game is, of course, the Fable, naturally, Snorlax, Mega Lodios, um, Nidoqueen, Queen, definitely. Let's see, what I said, Yurashi, the Fable, Nidoqueen, Queen, Snorlax, Mega Lodios, Nidoqueen. Queen. Yeah, those are the six. Uh, he, could, he might as well bring Houndoom, but Houndoom is not really too threatening to my team. Uh, he could bring Lucario too. Lucario is probably a mon he will bring, since he actually did bench Polygraph. And it's gonna be annoying to deal with. I don't have any natural monster to bring with. 
I did not foresee my own switch in here and bring, of course, Slowbro myself. I could have brought the Slowbro and made this game just to wrap things up, but I didn't do it. I wanted this to make a, be a fair challenge to him. That's what I do. I make fair challenges. Because I'm a savage. Viking. So yeah, that's my team analysis. That's the team I'm bringing. I'm really, really scared of a potential Tailwind. That's why I protect on Sceptile over Substitute, which was my main thought here. Protect on Sceptile will it make me be able to stall out the Tailwind a bit better. And in the, in the end, I hope to, of course, win this game naturally. Um, I was debating bring bringing Frost as a suicide lead, but at the end, it won't really matter all that much. Um, I'd rather have Barbarical to wrap things up. And he's very likely to do so if he doesn't see the matchup coming. And uh, even worse, if he switches out on it. Yeah, I, don't know, I feel comfortable with this matchup. I'm not seeing the risky power bringing anything that could stop me. If he has Crow Q, I can survive it. It is that simple. Um, Crow Q will take a long time to defeat. But as long as I have Volcano Health Feed, there are really nothing you can do. Even though that goes for, of course, Volcano too. But uh, yeah, I mean, Leaf Storm from, from Sceptile does kill it. Clefable is unaware. It falls to Sceptile's Leaf Storm because he doesn't lose a special attack. So he has a kind of an issue here. And I should be fine. I hope. So that's my team analysis for this game. I'm really comfortable that we're going to win this. It's going to be the first time that um, the Gothenburg Archer on board the Scandinavian Stelzons, for that matter, had a first win at the start of a season. As it never happened. Ever. So I hope they pull that up. So I want to thank everyone for watching. And may Odin be with you. <laughs> hey guys, I actually wanted to try to explain my team a bit better. Uh, I know it might sound strange. I really, you know, get out of the Viking role a little bit. But uh, all in all, uh, I should say this team is a really, really good one for the one I'm facing. But I know one big thing and a flaw that is with this team, and that is a Dragon Dance uh, possible Latios. Um, it's something that I could possibly deal with. Shadow Claw, for example, from Lodios would not possibly kill me. And of course, with Scissor Bullet Punching, I am be able to fend that off at least once. But that's a thing that's going to be tough for me to deal with if it decides to bring it. Uh, I should say I recorded this on Wednesday, and we're actually going to face off in, I do believe, four or three hours. So while I was rendering this, I felt like, yeah, um, you know, the Viking roll, you know, trying to record that while you know having that attitude and that it, it's like 25 degrees here in Sweden Celsius so it's really hot, hot so it's it's freaking annoying so I felt that at, after hearing myself that you know, I need to try to explain myself with a team in mind Um so yeah like I said Dragon Dance Lodios could be something that could dent my team quite well and um, the thing is like I said I had grass not on Sceptile I actually decided to take that away uh, I might actually be punishing myself by doing so. Grass not hurts the things it needs to. And uh, yeah, I'm somewhere in between. Uh, but I, I end up going for Leaf Storm in case I fend off the Clefable. Because if it's unaware, then you know I can actually push it back. And obviously, that's what we want, right? Uh, outside of that, Volcanion, uh, Steam Reference Gold is uh, it's a safe precaution. It's really a safe precaution. Um, I don't necessarily need other move. I could go for Hidden Power Electric, but Sukun is Sukun, so it's gonna push me back no matter what. And if I can get a burn on and some residual damage, that it really is all I need. Uh, I don't see him bringing Crocum if it does, you know, I have something for it. And yeah, outside of that, like I said, I was considering both Grape Gun and Frostless for Hazards, even Jonathan to some extent, but I do believe Jonathan would be problematic for this match. It's it's not the worst, like it's a ground type, right? So you can do some work against Yurashi. Uh, it can definitely take on his uh, Lucario if he's decided to go uh, on a physical route, which I feel is unlikely because of uh, you know possible burns that this team is naturally bringing. Uh, but yeah, Jonathan felt a bit out of it, and uh, then we have Drapion with Toxic Spike, which would have been nice for both Snorlax and Sukum, but at the same time, we have, we have of course the monster that is. Um, Oh, what do you call him? Yarashi and Lucario, both being immune to Toxic. While they are not necessarily bulky mods that would penalize it, I feel that if it brings both, then it's just going to be a waste of time. And the Draven would end up being knockoff, Poison Jab, uh, Taunt for Sukun, and pretty much, uh, of course, Toxic Spice. I feel that that set 
is not really my expertise and I feel that that would have been a waste. Uh, same time thing with Frostlass, it would be a suicide lead and I'm not necessarily sure that would work in the long run. I would possibly get up two layers of spikes or one thunder wave and a spike, depending on his Lucario if he decides to lead with that. So suicide lead Frostlass doesn't seem all that well and I haven't really decided on Volcano, I should say that too, whether or not go Heatway or Fire Blast. If he has a Stealth Rock Hirashi, he is very likely to survive the Heat Wave attack I'm going for, therefore Fire Blast would be the superior choice. But if it's a Scarf variant, then not only will he have speed, uh, I won't hit him with the Heat Wave, so it's kinda indifferent there. Um, I, I really am, so Fire Blast might be the smarter overall option. Um, so uh, yeah, should, uh, <laughs> so that's something at least I have in mind. And of course, Thunderous could have superpower for the match. I haven't decided yet. Uh, and I think these last changes is kind of dangerous, so I'm probably going to keep Focus Blast. And Barbarical should say that it can set up against Sukun, though not ideal. It can set up with Clefable, as I said, not ideal. You might have actually Thunderbolt for this game since it actually kind of works. Uh, and then we have outside of that um, Snorlax, which I can't set up against. Yurash, I can set up against. So I have options with Barbarical. While it's not the coolest mob of this game, it is one of those mods that if I get the matchup, if it gets there, th then I'm taking it. Like, I'm taking that option and that chance. And since I'm able to outspeed any possible Scarfer with my Barbaric Left a Shell Smash, it could be very effective and it can also be the same mod that makes me lose this game because Barbaric was my last choice of this game. And it might as well have been Frost, Last Rapion, or Dawnfan, depending on how I felt. And I should also say this that missing out on a benching from actually not. Retrieving neither here across nor uh, slower for this game is gonna be punishing, but at the same time, I do want to save my benches for as long as I can, and uh, this is probably not the best game for it. But you know, I'll do my best here, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the size of it. Like, I want to really explain myself. I felt like that Viking thing got you know over my head, and I didn't really explain you know my thought process. And um, if he has Crocune. It, it it might as well win him the game to be honest. Um, I do believe Sceptile hurts it quite a lot. Leaves from Dust KO it from full health. But as a plus one, it's um it's still a, a two hit KO, uh, which is nice even after a special attack drop. But after that, things get ugly. So ah, uh, that's why I really want to grass not over it. And outside of that, I don't really have any mods that can hurt it that well. Sister will be my primary choice. It is a bit speedy. Hopefully can outspeed and uh, basically I can force it down and try to get rocks um, away. Like I can't risk the rocks even though I only have two mods. Possibly weak to rocks that can possibly recover through of course uh, their uh, resisted abilities. But we'll see what happens. I'm feeling confident this game but having free scarfers, not ideal. And uh, I feel that I could have built more for, um, for a more offensive or a defensive core. Uh, and being a bit more stally, but I feel that that's not me and I want you guys to enjoy the content I'm bringing therefore a bit more aggression this time. Let's hope that pays off. So with all that said, may Odin will be with you and you'll see the match tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.